Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to download and install the Cisco VPN client for the Mac OS. We'll start by opening a browser, going to ftp.tcgamerica.com. Uh, we're going to connect as guest, that should be enough. And then we'll open our Cisco VPN client folder and then the subdirectory for Cisco VPN client for Mac. Click the image, drag it, drop it onto our desktop. Okay. Close these windows. Alrighty. Now we can double click the image and double click the package. Accept the prompts, accept the licensing. You may be prompted for a password, depending on how your system is configured. And we're installed. Close this window. Get rid of the image. And reject the disk. All right. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go on and make us a shortcut. Right click on applications here, find our VPN client, drag them onto the dock. Alright. Alright, now we're going to run our VPN client and create us a profile. Okay. So, just click new. Now this profile is assuming that the firewall has been properly configured and we're using radius authentication. Um, the connection entry should have been supplied to you by your administrator as well as the host, the name and password. I'm going to put some information in here but you won't be able to see it. The description field is arbitrary you can leave it blank. Put that in there. And we'll save. Okay. We're going to close the VPN client for now. And the next thing we're going to do is edit that profile we just created. I'm going to do that by going to Applications utilities and terminal okay we need to type this in verbatim cd forward slash etsy forward slash cisco systems vpn client forward slash profiles hit enter and then we're going to type pico and the name in the connection entry field dot pcf. You should get something like this. Um, next we want to control V, get to the next page and then we'll arrow down to the first blank line. On that line we want to enter again verbatim use legacy ike port equal zero want to control shift O and enter to save our changes then control shift X to close the file alright we can close our terminal and we'll again run our VPN client and we'll connect here you would be supplying a Windows username and password again should have been supplied to you by your administrator and that is the conclusion of installing and configuring Cisco VPN client for Mac OS